Charles Leno Jr., nice to meet you, can I spit a straight fact? Look around, there's a whole lot of talent out there, but none like you, you shine so bright. Yeah. You seen this tweet from Heidi Raybrook. It has gotten a lot of attention lately in the sports world. The NFL Network, Ian Rappaport took notice after Heidi sang the song to Charles Leno Jr., asking him to come to the Colts. Ultimately, the Colts went with left tackle Eric Fisher instead, but that's not going to stop Heidi from cheering on her favorite team and lending a musical voice when needed. Heidi joins us just outside Rochester, New York this morning in Canandaigua. Good morning to you. That's Buffalo Bills country, Heidi. It is. Good morning. Good morning. We appreciate you joining us. You're a Colts super fan, but you're not an Indiana native. Quickly tell me how you became so in love with the Colts. Well, that's a great question. Um, I grew up watching the Buffalo Bills, and my dad is a big fan, but ultimately I wanted to watch all the teams and pick a team for myself, and that, that was the Bills. Great. But that was around the Peyton Manning era, oh. and he made me fall in love with the Colts in football. Everybody so. loves number 18 still. That's right. So Heidi, the song to Charles isn't the first one you've actually done about the Colts. You sang to T.Y. Hilton and a couple of others too. Yes, that is correct. Tell me about the song and, um, and what makes you think of these songs to sing? Well, when the hashtag bring TY home started back in March, right. uh, I don't know, I just listen to songs in the car or they pop in my head. And then as I'm hearing the song, I also am hearing the new lyrics gotcha. that are going on and I quickly jot them down and record them. They take all of like two seconds to do. It's just a little fun way to say, Hey, I'm a fan and I can do this in a different way. So there you have it. That's awesome. You've never been to a Colts game, but you have been to Lucas Correct. Oil Stadium before. You're planning to do more Colts songs in the future. Are they hard yes. to come up with? Not when I start hearing them in my head. That sounds a little weird, but right. um, I can be anywhere driving in the car. I'll be listening to a song and it will just pop into my head. And, and then I just write them down and record them. All right. Well, Heidi, my co-anchor, Angela Gonote, is going to join me now because she's going to come in and, and join this conversation. And you got, yeah, a, you a, got, little a, little, surprise. got a little surprise you for ready? Heidi. You ready? Hey, um, yeah. hey, Heidi, the Colts wanted to show you a little something, a little gratitude for you supporting the team from so far away. They are going to send you some cold swag so you can bleed up the blue right there in Bill's country. Okay, yeah. so we got some swag coming, but... Guess what? That's not all. They're giving you tickets, a pair of tickets to a game at Lucas Oil Season, at Lucas Oil Stadium this season. How about you come to Indy and go to a game? Yeah, you're, you, you're going to be coming to Lucas Oil Stadium. We got tickets for you here <laughs> at the stadium. Oh my gosh. I, what do you think? I'm not often speechless. <laughs> <laughs> It was not my doing, but I just wanted to be the one that got to tell Hey, them. you okay. are the super fan, and this is how we do it in Colts country. We, you know, if you're a super fan rooting for us, we want to definitely pay it back to you. Oh, my goodness. I am so grateful. This is, like, the best day ever. Yeah. <laughs> so let us know when it all works out. You know, I'm sure there will be a lot of more, you know, details to get worked out, but um, we hopefully will get to see you here this fall. Heidi, take Thanks. care. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me this morning. Bye, Heidi. And keep rooting for the Colts. And we definitely want to thank the Colts and the Ursay family for making this yes. happen. Yes, you. Yes, absolutely. Thank you, Ursay family. <laughs>